I was diagnosed in November of 2019 with stage 3 ovarian peritoneal cancer. Trish and her three sisters have always known they were more likely to get cancer. Her younger sister, Noreen, died from breast cancer at just 38. They all carry the mutated BRCA2 gene, which increases their chances of getting the deadly disease. But now, a breast cancer prevention drug could change the lives of people like them. It gives me peace of mind where my son's concerned because, you know, he knows now that he has to keep on top of having regular checks, but at least that's there for them and they know what they have to do. It's hoped anastrozole, which had previously been used as a treatment, could prevent up to 2,000 cases of breast cancer each year, with almost 300,000 women with a moderate or high risk potentially eligible for the drug. And the reason that this is so important is because it's a preventative treatment, but we've seen in those women with that kind of increased risk of the disease that you can half the risk of them going on to develop breast cancer. NHS England's cancer services are under extreme pressure. The health service has never met its 28-day target to either confirm or rule out cancer after an urgent referral with more than 28% of patients waiting longer in September. It also wants no more than 15% of patients to wait less than two months to start treatment. Right now, that number is more than double, at over 37%. Really, the workforce in pathology and all our specialties has not kept up with the demand of services, the demand as our population gets older, the demand as we get better at diagnosing cancer and other diseases, and as we have more treatment options. The BRCA2 gene has now passed on to the next generation of Trish's family. But this new preventative medicine should give them hope and a much better chance of survival. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.